Hey guys, how are we going? So it's uh, Hoops here, uh, Hoopers Mayhem channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, yeah, tonight's video, we're going to actually do a bit of cooking, but we're going to actually cook it out in the backyard in our little sandy area. So we've got a sandy area that we're actually eventually going to be uh, digging out and uh, building our own pool. So this will be that'll be another video for later on watching our us build brick in our own underground uh, decent sized pool for the kids and for ourselves obviously but yep uh, so yeah this video is a a cooking one but it's going to be done in the dutch oven like i said in the in the soil outside uh, coals on top underneath buried and it's lamb so we're going to make the recipe up as we go so it's going to be well, i'm just going to be winging it so I'm not sure exactly what ingredients, so I'll go through the cupboard, see what sort of stuff I can find. I'll go through the freezer, see what meat I can find, and we're just basically going to throw it all together and slow cook it. So tonight, we're just chilling out. I haven't done any videos for quite a while, so I figured I'd uh, get on to making one, at least uh, get something out there for you guys and all my subscribers. And yeah, again, I appreciate you guys being here, but yeah, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. We'll get on to the intro and we'll see you shortly, and hopefully we can find something good to eat. Right, so we've got our, um, <coughs> the Dutch oven, of, uh, Greased it uh, just with uh, cooking oil, and then we got some sweet potato, a couple of onions, some mushrooms, uh, just some beef stock, <clears throat> broccoli, and some stir fry, uh, just because I wanted some carrots and things like that in it. And we've also got our beep load uh, spices, so we'll uh, do it. Plus, we've got our fresh um, white baby. Um, button mushrooms that I harvested a while back. So we'll cut them up as well. So it'll be lamb, mushroom, and a few veggies. And yeah, slow cooked in the fire pit. All right, so we've got our onions, and we're gonna just uh, roughly chop them up, just dice them up. There we go. What we're gonna do is just uh, gather them all up, chuck them in our pan. Right, second uh, ingredients is the uh, sweet potato. We're gonna do exactly the same thing and just chop it up uh, into probably bite-sized chunks as well, and then we'll add it into the pot. There we go. Same deal, just chuck it all in there. Uh, this is what I mean, just small pieces. It's probably gonna break break up uh, in the stew being at the slow cook, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, we'll chuck it all in. Next one, we are just going to throw in some, uh, just a few pieces of broccoli just to give it a bit of green. And then, like I said, we've got the, just the stir for our packet. I was more hoping just to get the carrot out, so I might just, uh, yeah, pick through and just get a few bits of carrot. I don't want the beans and all, all those uh, different ones, mainly just the carrot, so I'll pick through this and then uh, we'll get in with the video. All right, we've got some of our uh, fresh button mushrooms that we harvested in our little uh, mushroom one. So if you haven't seen that video, there's quite a few videos on me harvesting our own button mushrooms. But these ones we picked when they were fresh um, and then we froze them. So I'm gonna chop all these up and we've also got a can of uh, just sliced mushrooms which we'll add in there. We're not gonna put the juice from them because that would be gross, but we're gonna just use um, the mushrooms, and drain the mushrooms out of the can yeah. and we'll cut them up, chuck them in as well. Alrighty guys, like I said, this at the start, this is, uh, I'm just winging this one. I've never made this one before, but it's just pretty much, uh, you can't go wrong when it's a slow cook. We use some nice stock, uh, some obviously veggies and meat, and we'll throw in a bit of our seasonings as well. Uh, but yeah, we've got some uh, real, real stock here, which is a beef flavored, so I'm just gonna trim it, pour it in. Done. So what I'm going to do is I've got more of that beef stock. Uh, I'm going to do one one more can, and then we'll put just a little bit of water in it. And um, the veggies have got water, like some of them are frozen, so they'll break down as well. So we'll get into that one. Oh, this one's actually chicken. Uh, should have read it before I put it in, but it'll be all right. All right. 
like I said, this is just winging it. We're just making up whatever we feel like, and I'm pretty much just going off of whatever we got in our fridge. So we had some lamb that we uh, actually butchered ourselves quite a while back, and it's been sitting in the fridge for in the freezer for a while. So perfect time now is to use it before it's no longer usable. And we had all these old veggies that were in the freezer and the button mushrooms and stuff that we harvested. So like I said, we're just winging it, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna chop up the meat just slightly We'll chuck it in, give it a good stir. We're gonna add some of the, the spices. Then we're gonna go out the backyard and we'll dig a hole and we'll set this, uh, get a fire cranking and see if we can get a coal bed up big enough to uh, start up on the Dutch oven. So yeah, right, just uh, thought I'd add it. So this one is the good beep. <laughs> and we've got some bull beep. So these are from um, Lisa and Jesse from Lazy Days Ahead. They sent us a massive big care package over from Texas a while ago. I did a unboxing video with that one, uh, showing him uh, all the all the special ingredients they bought us. So tonight we're gonna use some of these flavors from this. So if you haven't seen that video of the unbox of all the stuff we got, that was tons, it was like 20 something kilos worth of uh, stuff that they sent us, go and watch that video. I'll put the link in the description. And uh, yeah, we'll get into uh, putting the meat in, getting the fire going. All right, there we go. So there's the lamb. Um, there's quite a lot of lamb in there, which is um, ideal. But what we'll do is we're just gonna give it a good stir up. We'll try to get this meat submerged in the solution. And then we'll get outside and we'll get it onto the cooking. And you'll see some of these bits here got the marrow bones in them. So that's gonna add that extra flavor to the beef uh, stew as well, the lamb stew. So yep, cool. All right, here we are out in the backyard. Uh, it's our disgusting little area. And like I said, this is gonna be where the pool is. We'll do some clearing up. Uh, this is all from our party that we had a couple of weeks ago and just haven't got around to cleaning it yet. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig a hole here. We're gonna light a fire and get ourselves a nice big cold bed and then we'll get the, the, the uh, Dutch oven, shove it in there. So let's get into it. Oh, that should be fine. Like I said, we're only going to do it light a fire. I've got this, uh, get a drawer in some uh, some oxygen in through. Uh, yeah, we'll just fill it full of wood, get some nice coals, slap it in there, cover it back over, and uh, hopefully that will be enough. few bits of pine just to get it going and then we've got heaps of jarrah that I've already cut up and that'll just feed into it. Alright today I am not going to be doing anything fancy with uh, fire steels and knives and things. I've basically got this stuff here. It looks just like that because it is. This is uh, actually called fat wood so in America that's what they call uh, pine. That's uh, basically the heart of a pine tree so this is the center piff I guess you would say of a pine tree so most of the flammable stuff in pine uh, absorbs into the guts of the pine tree and has this really really flammable uh, center so basically I'm just going to use these you can buy these uh, in most hardware stores well Bunnings sells them in a pack of uh, fatwood and perfect for fire starting so yep fatwood lighter bit of pine can't go wrong Alrighty, so what I've done is I've chucked a few heat beads in here because we I want some coal beds, some nice coal beds. Um, and this is the last little bit of wood that's burning now. So once that actually dies down, um, we'll be ready to go. But what I've done is I've actually sat the pot and uh, as you can see here, uh, there's our food looking really good. And that'll be the last time I open it. Uh, what I've had to do as well is just set up a bit of a windbreak because the wind was picking up a bit and it was flaming pretty high but it's not so bad now because we've actually got just a little bit of flame left now. So once this flame does die out, like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a scoop out or I'm going to spread it out nice and flat. I'll take a scoop out and set it aside and then I'm going to stick the, uh, the camp oven inside or on top of the coals that are there 
and then with the scoop that I have of the coals, I'm going to sit it in this lid, which you would have seen me before. If you've seen my uh, damper video we did, you just basically fill this top section here with uh, coals. But yeah, I've sat this uh, next to the fire just to pre-warm like pre -warm it up, I guess was what you would say. But uh, just to prep it, getting it ready, because that is uh, cold water. The meat and everything else was frozen, so it's going to take a while. But what I'm going to do is we're going to... Put it in there set it on there and i'll probably close it all in as much as i can just to try and keep and contain as much heat as i possibly can around and on that cast iron pot so all right there we go all right so five uh five siders later and some guy in the background in uh behind our house is playing bagpipes but what we got now is a nice cool bed so what we're going to do is take a scoop out like i said we're going to pick up the campfire the, the camp oven and chuck it in on top and i'm going to scoop it up so we'll see how we go and i've got you on my chest so hopefully that'll record as i do this right so there's our scoop <laughs> and you'll see in amongst that there's a bracket just there which will be good because it will retain the heat but what I'm going to do is just pull, pull all the coals back around the camp oven and then I'm going to just backfill it just a tiny bit with the sand that sand is basically going to contain all that heat and keep it all in there and there we go, I'm not sure if you got any of that on film or not but it was a bit hard to film whilst it's on my chest but you can see there Got this nice heat from above, nice heat from below, and there's also heat around the side. So that's going to be more than enough just to keep that oven cranking nice and warm. But uh, yeah, we're gonna. What I'm gonna do now, because we've got that nice uh, bit of coal bed on the top, I'm gonna just disperse it as much as I can. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light a second fire maybe in the fire pit or maybe just in the soil here somewhere and we're just going to keep another fire going so when i need to add more coals to it i'll just scrape the sand back and then we'll just throw a bit more on over time because what i want to do is keep this going for as long as i possibly can we're looking at probably maybe five or six hours depending on how many beers i've got left and um <laughs> but yeah that's the idea is just to keep it going as long as i can nice and low and slow uh, that's the idea stews if we sometimes we do shoes on the fireplace for like 12 hours at a time but uh, for now we'll see how we go and uh, hope's going to start digging us a hole uh, is that where you want the fire hope so yeah perfect good idea what do you reckon it's a good idea yeah yeah all right you dig a hole yeah it's pretty warm all right so yeah we'll come back to you in a little while all right so i did what i said Put the coals on there and start another little fire so what i'm going to do is just keep feeding this all night as i i got a few few drinky poos to go so um i'm just going to sit out here and chill and um, probably play poker with the kids or well <laughs> that sounded bad but yeah play poker with jackie and we're going to teach the kids some card games so we're going to just sit out here do some family time keep feeding that and uh we'll ch keep chucking coals in and around what i'm probably going to do is actually mound up a heap of coals over the entire stew sitting on there so that way it's just uh totally cooking for hours upon hours on the uh on time and you'll see i've had to build up a bit of a barrier i probably mentioned that before but that was mainly just stop the wind uh, it's died down a little bit but it's not so bad so yeah we'll just keep uh feeding as much wood on there and creating as much coal as we possibly can all right so it's been going now for about probably three hours i guess maybe maybe a little bit longer actually i didn't really take time of the or didn't really take the time but uh yeah we got got the fire cranking we're just going to keep that going all night and like i said we'll just every now and then we'll just keep picking up a few dumping it on the top and uh yeah it's actually smelling amazing if you could smell this right now it's absolutely smelling 
sensational. So it's going to be really good. So we'll see how we go. We'll just keep just uh, layering layering uh, coal across the top every now and then, and then we'll see how it goes. Right, so it's been quite a few hours now. I've just uh, peeled those couple bits of wood apart, grabbed another big scoop, chucked a whole bunch of it on the top. As you can see now, it's fully covered over the whole thing. Plus, them ones underneath should be going pretty good. So, yeah, we'll keep that going for probably another maybe uh, three hours, I suppose, and we'll check it. We'll actually scrape it all back, pull it actually into this fire, and we'll see what it looks like. All right, it's been a few hours now. Well, it's been about four or five. I can't even remember. What I'm going to do is just peel that back, and I actually want to just check what it looks like inside. So, what we're going to do is I'll adjust this camera a little bit. Let's just try and scratch back some of these coals. I'll tell you what, I can smell smell it. So it smells amazing. Now what I'm going to go do, just real quick, before I go any further, I'm going to go grab a little dust pan so I can just sweep off any dust that's on it, so that way I don't get it in the food. And I'll be back. Okay, so I'll try to do it quickly, because I don't have much light left with this, so what I'm going to do is just sweep it back. As long as I get it past the bottom of the lid, I'm good. And I've got my little tool, which I'm going to flip that handle over. And same deal. Just get it below the level of the lid. That should be good. <laughs> wow. That looks freaking awesome. I'm going to say that is done, but... And saying that, I'm going to put the lid back on, go and get a spoon, and give it a good stir. I know it's a bit hard now, the light's gone off, but I'll give it a good stir and a bit of a taste test, but I reckon that's done. Alright, so I've just come back out with a spoon. Give it a bit of a stir up, and that meat, or that lamb, is literally just peeling off the bone. It's just falling apart, and all that fat's rendered through. So I'm going to take a little bit of a taste test. I'll get some of our homegrown mushrooms, um, a bit of meat if I can see what I'm doing. Yep, that looks like a pretty good bite piece. Alright, give it a bit of a blow. It's super hot. Oh, yum. Oh, that meat is just so tender. Oh. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. I'm going to go a little bit more. Them flavours, the spice, and that, uh, oh, the stock, the veggies, the whole lot, that's just, That is the best soup ever. That is amazing. 
I'm not just saying that, it's actually really, really good. Oh, that sweet potato. Just that juice in general. Here's the juice. Just the juice. Oh my goodness. That is probably, no, it's not probably, it is most definitely the best soup I think I've ever made. And I've done a lot of soup, especially on the fireplace inside. That is sensational. I think, to be honest, it's uh, all come down to those spices that uh, Jesse and Lisa have given me from uh, Lazy Days Ahead. They sent me those beep loads, <laughs> flavorings, and that's what it tastes like. It's just, it's, it's just got so much flavor, and it goes so well with lamb. So that is sensational. Anyway, that's the video. It's taken me, I don't know, maybe six hours. Campfire. Um, slow cooked lamb and veggies so yeah i'm gonna tuck into that uh make myself a nice bowl some fresh bread with some butter enjoy my night i really appreciate you guys for watching and i uh, hope to see you guys on the next one like i said at the start if you hit that subscribe button if you like this sort of video if you're uh, keen on hitting up um my channel go for it leave us a message um and yeah we'll see you guys on the next one peace out stay moist